In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for um, just this time we have today. Um, thank you for these ashes. Thank you for letting us get to Mass this morning. Um, thank you for your your influence. We ask for your pur your purity and your guidance in everything. We ask this in the name of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Whenever I sign myself now with these ashes, like, I have to be careful uh, with just, as you can see, I had a little bit of trouble with that already. Anyway, um, so it's Ash Wednesday, beginning of Lent. I uh, got my ashes, obviously. Um, and so I'm not going to be able to do a daily vlogging series for Lent as I was with Advent but um, I'm going to try and post semi-regularly. So um, one of the main things I wanted to just do today was read um, some of my thoughts about Ash Wednesday and just uh, kind of what was going through my head at Mass this morning. Um, so, this is a blog post I did on my website of intellect and interest. Um, so, it's not that long. So, um, my brother Joe and I got to serve Mass this morning. Joe's been serving pretty much daily for some time now. Meanwhile, I've been off at Benedictine College. Uh, but thankfully, I'm on spring break and had the opportunity to serve on our Lord's altar with my brother. Because of the unique occasion of Ash Wednesday, Father decided to process up to the altar from the back of church. Um, I led the way with the metal processional crucifix held high and erect as the symbol of suffering and faith which I held passed by those in the pews. Many gestured using the same symbol and the sign of the cross. As I approached the altar, I noticed that the crucifix uplifted in front of me aligned with the crucifix resting at the center of the altar as well as the giant one hanging on the wall beyond. With the sign of the cross and often with crosses and crucifixes adorning our homes, it can become easy to think of the crucifixion as commonplace and the emblem of the cross as normal. But if we truly know our faith and stop just a minute to think about it, we will come to the conclusion that this act is by no means normal. It is atrocious, unthinkable, and it was made possible, bearable, by Christ's divine determination, and he helps us in bearing our own crosses. I also found the mini sign of the cross, which we perform in Trinitarian repetition right before the gospel, to be in some way tied to the blessing of the ashes on the forehead. Because before the reading of the gospel, we use our thumbs to sign our foreheads, our lips, and our hearts. My heart and my lips are by all means in need of purification. The concupiscence of my intellect, my impure dwellings and musings need to be kept in check. Particularly with the blessing of the ashes upon the forehead, I get an image of a purifying of the mind where to avoid sinning in thought in addition to word or deed. As much as I love pop culture, movies, and photography, I recognize the frequent use of such media as bombarding the mind of their audience. There is need for silence, reform, purging. In the blessed ashes given on this day, I find a calling for bringing my own thoughts to higher things, purer things. The mind is to be elevated to thoughts of God's glory and splendor. In the symbolism of the blessing of the cross and Ash Wednesday itself, I feel a calling to work on purifying my thoughts this Lent. Um, and so that was just kind of my thoughts here for this first day of Lent. And kind of what I'm doing, I, I kept struggling until uh, after Mass this morning. I'm like, I'm like, so I'm going to try and read um, from Perfectly Yourself, this Matthew Kelly book, um, 
and from the Bible daily uh, is what I'm going to try and do. That's what I'm adding into my life. But uh, even this morning after Mass, I was still at a loss for what I should do giving up-wise, sacrificing um, this Lent. And so my mom was just like, how about, you know, Coca-Cola? Because I'm like, I, I really don't want to give up tea or coffee. And so I'm, my mom's like, you know, what about Coca-Cola? And I sit there and think about it. And I'm like, the past few weeks I have been drinking Coca-Cola frequently in the afternoons to try and give me that caffeine kick. Um, so I, I think my mom's idea was actually perfect. So that's what I'm going with. That's kind of what I've got planned for um, Lent. And so, in addition to that, uh, what's been going on with me, uh, I got to visit with my friend Isaac Challenge yesterday, um, so that was nice. Um, and then I'm getting a haircut on Saturday, which I am very much looking forward to, but they're not going to touch this, preferably. My mustache is coming in. Anyway, that's pretty much what's going on with me, and, uh, yeah, trying to get through Ash Wednesday, so, um, I encourage you all to fast since this is a day of fasting, um, I love you all, please pray for me, and I will talk to you all soon.